All right, uh, welcome back everybody. Um, once again, I'm, I'm Austin from 60 North up in Norway. And um, in this session, we're going to hear from Maurizio about using vPython in high school. Okay, thank you. So welcome everyone. With Python goes to school and uh, 3D for ordinary mortals or students. And uh, this is our, our plan for today. For now, introduction. So, who am I? Uh, I'm a teacher. I teach in a high school, I teach also in primary school and middle school. I'm also a scratch day organizer and I'm a coder uh, dojo mentor too. So, who am I not? I'm not a guru of Python or a czar of a Python. Who are you? Oh, someone of you are a teacher, is a teacher? Okay, that's nice. Um, someone of you uh, already knows uh, vPython? Okay. So, uh, I want to talk about computational thinking, computational modeling, and educational programming. With vPython, so uh, I want to show you uh, some codes. Um, the subtopic, uh, the aim is to teach how to become, to, to be and to become smart, hard to use intelligence. So here, I want to start from the etymology of this word. Intelligence uh, is from Latin, intus legere, inter legere. So we have something that we, uh, we have many things, and we have to collect them together. And also we have to read between the lines. This is a something, something deep. So we want to uh, teach, I want to teach to be, to be intelligent in this sense, deep. Uh, my educational ratio of my talk, uh, of my work too, is to find tools and pathways to introduce how to think and code, how to think like a computer scientist, but how to think like a human being, uh, primary in a secondary school. So uh, we have uh, some general actions. Coding is difficult. We still don't have the best language for everyone. Uh, I don't want to be heretical here at the Python conference, but I don't think that there is a a uh, preferred language for everyone. I prefer Python, and I use it at school since uh, uh, 2006. But I think that every mind, every pupil has is is a own way to learning. So we still don't have the mat best method pedagogy for everyone. So we have constructivism, we have behavioral process, we have many things in this uh, field, in this area, in pedagogy. But I don't think we have the right solution for everyone. We have many ways, many uh, methods. So vPython, presentation. Um, vPython is uh, 14 years old and uh, was made by David Scherer, and uh, is, a, um, is a package, the package name uh, Visual, and uh, it allows us to uh, add 3D graphics to Python in a simple way. This is the reason why I use it uh, in school. So it is easy to create, uh, navigate, navigable 3D displays and animations. So where do we start? We start from the vPython main site. Uh, so uh, you see that the subtitle is 3D programming for ordinary mortals. And uh, for me it's uh, for ordinary students, normal students. Setting up uh, the environment is very easy. You need Python, then you need uh, this package this package of vPython, and then we, uh, we need uh, 
an editor, an IDE. We have also uh, in the project of vPython, there is also um, vIDL, an alternative to IDL, which fixes some significant problems uh, with uh, using uh, visual, the visual package in uh, Python. But we can use, uh, for example, I use in this presentation Spider, or we can use PyCharm, another IDE. It's not uh, so important. So now, I want to show you uh, just this code from Visual Import Star Import Home Sphere. So this is our our for first project. So I need it's uh, something we can navigate through. We can uh, pan. We can zoom or rotate. Um, and it's uh, for me it's very interesting because it, with two lines of code and with uh, almost almost no magic no no magic at all but uh, we here don't don't have many many um, strange things for uh, for students then we uh, we can start uh, or we can continue with this one i can I can add texture material to my to my scene to my object to my thing. So I think we can uh, talk about objects, but maybe object uh, object is a, a word for uh, programmers. So maybe it's better uh, at start to talk about things. So uh, we have a sphere, and uh, we can. We can add the material to the sphere. Then, we can continue our presentation. Uh, we have many objects. Uh, for example, here, I um, import uh, always uh, all from Visual, the main module, and uh, I um, construct a cylinder. In this case, uh, I use a variable. So, after this, I can change my object, my thing. Uh, here I have many uh, attributes, for example, position, axis, and radius. Then I, I, can, uh, ask, I, I can ask the object for the values of these attributes, or I can change them. So here, I want to show you just this one. Uh, in this case, I use also scene because uh, we are in this uh, 3D uh, environment. So I, uh, I use scene width and scene 8 to do this. And this is a, a, also an important result. Not so difficult, but um, a little impressive. Just here. So a Python way to or to teach or to learn. We start from an empty scene, then we use uh, a single object, then we make, we make, uh, we do an object composition, many objects. Then we continue this process on constructing a static virtual reality modeling. Then we can do dynamic simulation. So uh, there are also three parts uh, group uh, in the mm, in the vPython terminology. There are frames. I can group uh, objects together, and then I can uh, I can uh, use them like a single object, like in many many other programs. Then we can catch events. So in this way, I can construct more complex animations and simulations. And this is my dream. I want to uh, construct with uh, my students games with vPython. So uh, here we have uh, um, 18 types of uh, primary objects that we can use. We have uh, simple objects and more com 
complicated and complex object, a sphere, text, pyramid, points, slides, label, and so on. So here, I can continue. Uh, here we have a composition. Uh, here I use the for loop. So this is a, uh, an important point because here uh, I continue the lesson from sequence. I go to the for loop. So I go to the loop, the second structure of the programming uh, structure. So here, for example, I made I made ten ten sphere is uh, not so complicated because I change only the x position of the sphere. So it's a loop uh, ten times repeated ten times, and I create and I create in this loop ten sphere. If I want to uh, change this, I have to. I had to uh, give them a name. My in this case is not necessary. So here, uh, a little more complicated, uh, complicated scene. In this case, I use uh, um, a more complex uh, primary object of V Python, uh, and so I use the arrow. Object and in this case, uh, I have a very interesting uh, connection with the trigonometry. So I use um, uh, the function we we find in the math uh, library, like uh, yes, the p uh, i value and the cosine and the sine functions. Uh, so in this case, it's not so complicated. Also in here. We have, uh, uh, we have a result with a very, uh, a very short program. Very, these are uh, only lines to, uh, to fit the objects in the scene. Really, I have this one line, and then I have three lines. If I, for example, if I cut, if I cut this, I can, oh, sorry. Uh, I have to close this one before. I have always the result. I continue to have the result only with four lines of code. And this line are, these lines are not so magic. Um, the pupils, the students, can, can understand the meaning of this. Now continue. Oh, sorry. Here, composition and rate. This is important. In this case, I I have a, an animation. I just put this line here. This line. So rate, rate for. In a second, I repeat the loop at maximum four times. So in this case, I have known the result of, the, um, of my word, but I have the animation in my word. So here, I have the movement. I have the movement. Uh, really, it's not, uh, it seems a movement, but uh, I create many objects. So it's not an object that moves but there are many objects created in times. Yeah. You wrote this uh, code when you uh, taught the, your, your students uh, trigonometry? No. Is this connected? Okay. Uh, the question was about uh, if, I, um, if I teach this uh, uh, when I teach trigonometry. Uh, really, I teach computer science. I don't teach mathematics. So I try to have a connection with, the, uh, with my colleagues uh, of mathematics. But uh, it's not so easy because the programs are very different, differentiated. So, uh, Yeah, normally I assume they uh, already know this meaning. Or I can, uh, I can say 
you will see the right meaning in the math course. It depends, it depends. But normally I assume they already know the meaning. So uh, this is another interesting uh, feature uh, we have in visual. In the visual, we have another module, graph. And we can, uh, we can graph functions. So here we are not in the 3D words, but world, but in the 2D words. And this is another interesting connection with math. So I can show you here this. And for example, I can, I can add here uh, rate, uh, for example, on uh, 10, I, th I think. So I have uh, the, the function of the movement of the function. Because uh, uh, without rate, I have the final result. And this way, the result is constructed. So, interdisciplinarity. Uh, didactics of interdisciplinarity is, uh, is not so easy. Uh, it's a cultural, cultural approach. Um, you have to search methodology to do this. Uh, we have many things, for example, problem-based learning and teaching is very interesting to do this. Uh, we have to encourage the construction of interdisciplinary and neural, neuronal network too in our schools. Um, we have to to get to an integration process between knowledges and skills, between many, many disciplines. And it's not so easy. A uh, popular approach is connections in vPython. This is a popular approach in vPython, uh, is connection with uh, physics. So you find many interesting videos and tutorials about this in many courses, uh, mainly at the university, uh, where um, they study physics using vPython. Um, my, my aim is not this. My purpose is to teach computer science. So it's a little different from many approaches, from this approach. Um, a more basic approach for a high school is for me that I have connections before with math and geometry. Then I can have approach with physics, chemistry, astronomy, and also computational linguistics. Uh, if I have time, I want to show you an example of this. Math concepts, Cartesian coordinate system, trigonometry, scalar, and vector values, this is very um, interesting, very important. Uh, we have uh, 3D modeling concepts. Uh, there are so many camera, lights, and shadow, coordinate axis, background uh, in a 3D world, uh, texture like before, uh, objects, uh, groups of objects. Uh, uh, the, I told you uh, the right term is a frame in uh, vPython. Uh, we have also connection with ph philosophy, for example, time and space. Uh, but this is another, another talk. So, educational testing, Python plus vPython. My educational context is this one. Uh, in a math and science-based high school with only two hours per week. Uh, so, um, I believe in learning process, but products and results are also important. So, this is a virtual reality model. So, here, for example, I want to show you this one was made by a student of mine. It's very interesting. Uh, you, uh, here, you have to use many for loops, many loops to do this in a proper way. On a human, in a human way. 
Uh, then uh, we have many other, for example, here I have an example of uh, this. Using random, I create um, a ball, then I move the ball in another position randomly. Using this, uh, so it's, uh, it's important to, or it's uh, good to, to do this uh, then. Here, another one. Another one here is, uh, is made by uh, two uh, students of mine. So it's uh, a, little, um, a little connection. We have uh, interdisciplinarity in this case. Um, here, uh, the Python Zen, because of here, oh, sorry, eight, right. We have this bounce example. And uh, the ball continue, so it's uh, like Zen. If you stay for two hours, uh, I think uh, you get uh, the enlightenment, maybe. So, um, solar systems, uh, this is uh, uh, the one we saw before, was made by my students. It's not so um, perfect uh, for a computer scientist uh, for a programmer, but this is not the case because they study only two hours per week. So this is another one. This was made by a student of mine, but by maybe the best of my students, uh, and it's very interesting. So here, um, for example, I can uh, write this. Uh, this is an example of a reduction of the other. The whole pro, uh, the whole program is here, and uh, it's very interesting and very complicated. Just one of my students can do something like this, so it's not so easy. Um, another part: this is a real school test uh, instruction. They have to find the f uh, the vowels uh, frequency in uh, in a uh, in this poem, this is a real, uh, a real beautiful poem. So they have to find um, the frequency, frequencies of the vowels, and this is a computational uh, statistical method to determine if a, uh, a poem is, uh, for example, in Italian or in English. And uh, they had to um, represent uh, with, with, with Python the results. So, uh, in this case, uh, I show you the color version of them, and uh, it's not so, uh, it's not so, um, so long, it's not so easy, it's not so easy for them. But the solution is, uh, mm, yeah, uh, they can get to the solution. So, the Python school in the future, uh, group, frame, just one student, I told you, just one student of mine can do the animation we, see, we saw before. Uh, I wanted to get to events and then to them. For example, here, here, uh, I show you this one, the last one. I have a box and when I click, I create a sphere with these lines of code. So it's very, uh, it's very easy to understand, to write this code and to understand it. So uh, here are some results. Uh, another strong point uh, for, uh, of the Python is documentation. A really nice, nice and well documentation. So uh, there are many problems, for example, too many unbelievers in school. Uh, to few evangelists, disciples, Pythonists, okay, uh, digital net of generations, generation, it's a very hard problem. They can use technology, but uh, no more. Uh, there are intra-Python limits, so uh, I want to end with this. Python, the Python are semantic frames that allow to make a bridge in a mind more. So this, this is all, that's all. Thank you.